so everybody, we made our donation to the great state of Tennessee. Woo-hoo. But you're the only ten I see. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> For all we know, it could have been the next Unabomber, so <laughs> Hi everyone, before we get into this episode, I did want to give a warning for our YouTube listeners. The video and audio for this episode are not synced up. At some point during the recording, the video and the audio got unsynced from each other, and we weren't able to fix it post-production, so it may be best just to avoid watching it and just listen to it. If you are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, nothing will change on your end. We appreciate everybody checking out this unique episode, and enjoy the show. (laughs) Welcome back, everyone. (laughs) Don't don't get a (laughs) bust. That is a crazy cold open, dude. (laughs) Welcome back, everyone, to episode 26 of the Coconut Curry Podcast. On this oh, episode, what's we... your guys' favorite number? What is? Huh? Oh, Saquon Barkley. Shout, yeah, out. Yeah. Shout out. Good, Shout good. Out. Way to put it in there. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's <laughs> Jesus real. Jesus Christ, dude. This episode's already done. <laughs> this is all staying in because this is the type of episode we're going to be having Jesus today. Christ. Maybe with a little bit of cutting. On this episode, we discuss our spring break that we just got off good of Lord. A, few, a few, like about a week ago. Um, and then we're going to discuss, go. dude, <laughs> <laughs> this episode's already done. This is, this is off, the, off the rails. Um, and then we're going to discuss NFL free agency. And then maybe if we have some time, we'll go into the NBA because there have been a lot of standing changes. But before we do that, if you're new around here, we are three college students at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm Justin. We also have Peter and Raj here today. We're on all platforms, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts, you can come listen. Um, we just talk about sports and hopefully offer a fresh new perspective. We also try to tune into our life stuff. And that's what a lot of this episode is going to be as we have a lot to share. So please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And as our first segment would, is typically reacting to comments, but we unfortunately had no good comments. We haven't recorded in two weeks because of spring break, obviously. So no good comments to put here. Please make sure you comment something this week. We'll probably have like a, a Nashville. We'll have, yeah, we'll either have the Nashville or we'll post one of our hot takes that you all can scream at us at. Exactly. So, so there'll be opportunity. So please comment. Um, disgruntled moment of the week. There's going to be a lot of disgruntled yeah. moments, I think, while we're in Nashville. Yeah. Roger, are you okay? No. I'm sorry, I'm just singing the song for the Flyers. Okay. They always, you they always... are not a Flyers fan. <laughs> yes, I am. The right other now, day, am. you literally said you were a Devils fan. You, a- you asked me what team we were a fan of. And then I asked which team has a better record, and, and now then... I'm a Flyers fan. <laughs> anyway. You uh... don't watch hockey. <laughs> You're right, I don't. Oh my God. Anyway, uh... There'll be a lot of disgruntled moments on our spring break trip that we'll mention, but separately we're going to do a disgruntled moment of the week. Just so, for like, yeah. just for old time's sake, if you don't yeah. know what the segment is, we talk about moments in our week that made us angry or dissatisfied or other people yes. angry or dissatisfied, hence the word disgruntled. I will start off, and I had a good one when I was walking in, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to say that instead, and then I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, so now on. we're back to the original one, um, which is, I talked about it last time, the weather. Oh my, like the weather is so like we just got off the spring break you're seeing all everybody's in florida these cancun nice, cancun enjoying the weather gone. we were in nashville and it wasn't terrible weather it was still nice the last couple of days it was we like there. mid-ish 50s but then monday tuesday it was like mid uh like mid 70s low 60s like yep. sunny like a nice breeze like yep. beautiful weather. and i and i like the cold weather i genu- i do like when it comes to november december like i do enjoy the weather i love the snow but once it starts to get warm again i don't like to go backwards Especially yeah. as drastically as we have, because fifties are cool. It was flurrying when I was walking a dog yesterday, like last night, like yeah. flurrying, like mean, below mean, freezing temperatures. But then cold in Pittsburgh, it was like seventy five the other day. Yep. What and the hell? <laughs> it's just the weather's all over the place. I don't like it. I feel like we'll talk about this a little bit with spring break. Once 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 spring break happens, it means it needs to be nice weather. It needs to be sunny, and people need to be outside, yeah. enjoying the time on campus. Like that's the shift. Like yep. after spring break, it has to be nice for the rest of the year. Yep, and it's it's simply not going to be. It was a high of forty three today, not not great weather. Yeah, or high of forty five, and 45, then the yeah. next days are forty six, forty, uh, and then we get into some fifty eight, but then fifty one, fifty three, and then next Thursday all the way out to it's like down back down to forty seven, like. This it is, is March. Is, it's, I, it's yeah. It's, it's not about even to like, be April. I was gonna say it's not even early March. It's like we're in the back half of <laughs> March right now. I'm um, significantly over the midway point, and, yeah. and it's still cold. I always remember it because it felt like a joke. Yeah. It snowed on April Fool's Day of our first year of college. Oh yeah, and yeah, I was like, this is a, this is a joke. Like <laughs> April Fools, you thought it was spring. Yeah. <laughs> it's April time to get warm. Nope, it's the snow. Yeah. So the weather is disgruntled. Right, I'm disgruntled about the weather right now. Well, didn't he say early spring? 
I forget what it, I thought it was. Wait, did he? Was it early spring? Or was I don't remember. Well, it doesn't matter. That yeah. guy's a fraud. He's he a fraud. fraud. He's a fraud. He's a system groundhog. Yeah. He's just like Brock Purdy. Okay. Anyways. Raj, what's your disgruntled moment? Myself. Okay. So we're on the way to the airport, and Wait, I on. checked the room 80 different times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I checked the room 80 times, and I knew, thought I had everything on me. We get to the parking lot, and I'm parking. And I'm, like, looking at my wrist. I'm like, where is my Apple Watch? And I'm looking all around. I'm like, I might have just thrown it in my backpack. I'm like, oh, I was charging it last night. It's probably I probably dropped it in my bag. And then I go to check, find my iPhone, and trying to see where it is. And it didn't say it was connected to anything, which means it wasn't connected to my phone, which means it was back at the Airbnb. So luckily for me, it was only a seven minute drive back. Nothing bad. I got there and I found it hidden behind the alarm clock blended in so I couldn't see it. So yeah, I got the, I had to go back, get my watch, haul ass back to the airport, get through security, get through security, which also just my luck. The TSA line I got was a training line. (laughs) So not only did I get there, get I I still had a lot of time, but in the tra- I got I got thrown into the training line. So it took another fifteen minutes at security because they were training, and then I got stopped because they saw blue powder and thought I was smuggling cocaine or any drug. I don't even what's blue. What, what? Uh, what's the thing for Breaking Bad? Meth. Meth. Yeah. The blue stuff. What's yeah. the thing from Breaking Bad? <laughs> but yeah, my uh, return flight here was an experience. But then it was all good. Uh, Hattie B's didn't have grits in the morning which was sad <laughs> no one knows what you're talking about we, we haven't gotten into that. we'll get into that <laughs> no, we'll get into if you that know all. you know if but you yeah know, it was at, at, in that moment i was like that this is bad because fortunately yeah. we all got out of the house early that morning mm-hmm. to my shock yeah but if we had been running any bit late it would have been like a oh do i even go back for it yeah type of yeah. deal if it was like if it was like flight leaves in an hour well, type of thing no nah, and the nice it. thing is is that the airbnb we were, at, we were actually at they literally put like on their website like mm-hmm. if you leave anything we're totally fine shipping it back to you just pay shipping yeah so it's like if, if you leave anything we'll we'll that's, either let you know or let us know that's so sweet. Like, it would have been fine but it would have been it would have been a lot rougher i had plenty of time to get it so it didn't matter but but it was you still, were still an idiot yeah that was bad <laughs> hand up hand gotta up be gotta be better yep. <laughs> but um so my disgruntled moment of the week is also myself but for a different reason um i spent so much goddamn money in nashville oh my god <laughs> so much <laughs> like i was feeling good about myself because i was like you know what i picked up like some extra shifts i was like all right i'm feeling good my bank account's looking good and then right before nashville the landlord takes rent out of my bank account i'm like oh my god this is not looking as good as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> but i'll be fine and of course, when you get a couple of cervezas us in me, I start to feel a little bit better. You start to get some people some other drinks, and it's like, oh, it's a good time. We're having fun. And then by the end of the trip, you're down to uh, yeah. not as much money as you would have liked I, in your bank the account. Collect, the collective problem is like when you head up to the bar. It's not like you like, like especially like. If you're at a nicer restaurant, you see the prices near the cocktails, but you're you don't like, go no. up to the bar, and it's not like it's not oh, advertising how much. It yes, is. exactly. So you just buy it. And they hand you the bill. And then you're like, oh, God. And you're like, oh, God. But then when you decide that you're going to go up and get another one, you don't think about the pricing again. Because you already... Yeah, it's just the same cycle. Yes. Uh, until your bank account's literally empty. <sighs> yes, the infinite rum and Cokes. <sighs> but but for, I um, guess in Tennessee, whiskey sours. I guess it was whiskey sours. But I, and also Nashville, why are you... Or I guess specifically Broadway Street... Why are your drinks so expensive? And why are you not using well liquor anywhere? Yeah. Like, I don't want to see Kettle One in the well. I don't want to see Tito's. I don't want to see Kettle Well. <laughs> or I don't want to see Kettle One anywhere near my random <laughs> vodka soda. Give me Kirkland. Give me Skull. Or give me like any bottom shelf plastic bottle. Why was Jack the Well whiskey? Jack should why? be no Jack should be nowhere near my Jack and Coke. I want to make that very clear. If I order a Jack and Coke at a bar like that, give no, me the that, cheapest it was, it was not the vibe it was not the vibe give me the cheapest thing you have there i don't want to be spending like 13 dollars on like a shot glass full of coke and then like a, well i guess i will say they were pouring them they were strong they were pouring them strong, strong. so it's like it might as well have been a double in other places but still like i don't want to be spending that much money <laughs> honestly pouring strong is like the theme of spring break yeah they yeah. were poured strong i mean it was like yeah it was nuts but still a very fun trip wouldn't trade it for the world, but good lord, my bank account's yeah, hurting. The bank account came due. My credit card bill came due yesterday. Dude, that hurts. And I was oh like, I, I initiated the Venmo transfer over finally, and I was like, oh god, like <laughs> yeah, this it's is bad. bad. It's bad. 
Because, you know, I had this idea in my head, like, when I transferred the Venmo and, like, oh, it would oh, be, be fine. It would kind of cancel out the credit card bill. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Not it didn't even come not close. Close. Yeah. Um, But, yeah. Well, very expensive trip. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to pick up an extra shift or two at work. <laughs> but, help. good time. But, hey, but, if one parlay hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> March you're, Madness. You're 32 <laughs> hands of blackjack away from financial freedom. You just double down every <laughs> single time and win bet, every single bet time. Bet $3 against the spread on the 13 and 12 seeds and bet uh, $3 on the money lines for the 12 and 13 there seeds. There we go. Yeah. I, sh- I should, like, try to make a parlay where, like, I predict the final two. <laughs> and then, like, God. it'll be really short odds. But, like, if it does hit, we're... Yeah, be nuts. Yeah, St. Peter's it. and Marquette. Awesome. Yep. Anyway. A, lock, a lock. Um. Anyway, that's the disgruntled moment of the week. We already talked a lot about spring break. Yeah. So let's dive into it. So if you haven't got the gist yet, all three of us plus six of our friends traveled to Nashville for spring break. Yes. Um. We flew out on what was it? you guys flew out we on flew Friday. Out Friday or I guess six of us flew out or seven, seven of us flew out mm-hmm. Friday morning. Another one flew out later on Friday, and then Justin flew out on Sunday, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. That was wild. Waking up and seeing you in the door. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> It was wild being there because I took I woke up at five forty five that day and that was yeah. with daylight savings, so like hour oh, ahead. Jesus, yeah. uh, dude, I woke up that morning, I'm like, oh, this kid might have to Uber. I'm I told like, you yeah. I, I and I told you I'd Uber, but I appreciate it. Mean, I, I, I woke up and made the drive. It wasn't anything difficult. <laughs> Although I will say the Ubers were so cheap. Know, they, they were, were so, so cheap. cheap. They were like, oh, Uber. Well, this is like the start to my trip, which is not even the start to your trip, is yeah. that I had to pay a hundred dollars for an Uber to get to the airport. For, in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, yeah. which I typically don't buy ubers to go to the airport typically take the bus but with how yeah. early i had to wake up i was like i didn't want to wake up any earlier yeah to get on the bus because i was like i'm already extremely exhausted yeah like it's 5 45 in the morning i couldn't go to bed early enough to like get up the sleep it was daylight savings time and then i knew we were going to be on a bender in nashville so i was like <laughs> let me just uber and make it easy i wake up i check uber prices to like like just get just, the feel just, for yeah. things before i take a shower 60 bucks i was like <gasps> and then i was like okay what whatever like 60 i could tolerate that and then when I went to go book the Uber, <laughs> it was a hundred. And I was kind of in the position where like I could have waited 10, 20 more minutes, but See. who who would have known if it was would it go up? Like yeah. I don't know. And there's not like there's a lot of pit to Nashville direct flights. Yeah. So if I did happen to miss my flight while well, I can screwed time out the Uber to see if I can get a cheaper price. I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to like do a layover somewhere, yeah. pay more money for the flight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna get there like late at night on It's just not Sunday. worth it. It was just more yeah. 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 So I just like instantly like just money. <laughs> instantly lighting money in, on fire in, yeah instantly lighting money on fire i didn't eat breakfast of course so i gotta get i got food in the airport which is expensive of course, yeah um and so i was lighting on money on fire from minute one but oh yeah it was more interesting for hey. you guys because you guys left on friday yes we left on friday um we got in because our flight was what 10 i think on friday it was on that was at 10 and then we landed in baltimore at 12 30 yeah 12 30 because it was only it was like up in, or it was like a 30 minute flight mm-hmm. but then i think because of the time difference if or no that was There's the no time, time difference, difference was to nashville i think it might have only it might have only been like an hour flight yeah it was but it was like 39 hour. minutes in the air yeah okay we landed at then i think 11 something 11 because then our next yeah. flight was at 12 30 yeah that's yeah. it yeah yeah because yeah. we had then an hour and a half layover in uh baltimore um yeah so we got to the pittsburgh airport immediately got an airport beer because i feel like you have to i have to we went to- i saw a funny tweet the other day and it was like the only acceptable place to be drinking at like seven in the morning oh, it's the airport. is the airport it's the yeah because you like everybody's just on their own time there yeah we went to the the permani rose in the airport there got an icy light that was a horrible way to start the day i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah lie. i can't even I can't, absolutely yeah. awful not gonna lie um then we end up we get into baltimore i mean it's like nothing was really too eventful yeah. from there uh, we get to the air. Uh, Any TSA stops on the way in? Oh, oh. immediately in Pittsburgh. Me and Andres um, both got stopped. Yeah, the two. Uh, yeah, the two minorities in that group yep. both got stopped and, and pulled to the Jacob side. Jacob was lucky because he had like some like he had TSA he had, pre-check. Yeah. yeah, or no, it's some some new thing called Clear. Apparently, yeah, Clear. Yeah. Oh, TSA uh, Clear. Oh, That's whatever. not even TSA. It's some third-party company what? now. Yeah. Yeah. TSA pre-check and Clear are two different things. We're lobbying TSA now. I what guess. The hell? Whatever. But yeah, Jacob, uh, we like walk in, and our friend Jacob goes. I was like, oh, you're waiting in line with us? He goes, no, I got clear. I go, I'm like, bye. what is clear? And he's like, okay, bye. And then just like walk Then he just disappeared. I'm like, okay, yeah. cool. But yes, Good the Lord. security line in, at Pitt, no matter when you go, sucks It's always going to be terrible, yeah. Because the one thing I did notice is Pitt's like x-ray things to like scan bags. Oh, it's sucks terrible. Sucks compared so to bad. Nashville's. So, well, because Nashville. Well, Nashville's was nice. Nashville, because yeah. they used like actual CT machines. Yeah. So like they literally like scanned them versus Pittsburgh like. they still got those like old ass x-rays from like the 1900s. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But anyway. Not really too eventful traveling to Nashville. We end up getting to the Airbnb. It's really, really nice. Mm-hmm. It's like about 
what a 10 15 minute walk from broadway yeah, yeah. like right on the outskirts of nashville really really nice um we just ate a lot of good food kind of over those two days we got mm, hattie, uh, hattie bees which, which is like kind of like the touristy one to go it's a touristy chicken place to go get which i hate to say is very very good it's um, worth it. it was really really good um our friend jacob could uh drink the grits with a straw apparently he <laughs> loved them so much <laughs> I guess coming from New Orleans, it's a very southern thing of grits. So I guess that was a thing. Um, we hit like basically every single bar uh, at you guys, Broadway. You guys were over. busy your first two yeah. days before I got there. Well, because we had like so much time to kill that we were just like, yeah, like let's just like go see what Broadway's like. Um, I'm trying to think about what what else we did on. Um, let's see. Friday. You guys were pretty short on Friday. We didn't really do much. Yeah, Saturday. Did we, Saturday. We were supposed to go on the Hawk and Talk Express, but, but then they, the tickets screwed yeah, us. Whatever. I was say the first two days, you didn't really do a lot of like activities. Yeah. Until yeah. Because we had that. Because we kind of just wanted to like feel out, like really yeah. go, get get to, get to see Broadway. And it is a tourist trap. Let's be real here. It's so gentrified and touristy yeah. at this yeah. point. It's whatever. But. Very good time, nonetheless. And then Sunday, when Justin got in, what did we do Sunday? We went to brunch in the morning. Brunch was the first thing we went to. Brunch. Then we went to a soccer game. Oh, yeah. we went to Nashville FC. We saw them tie, even though they're up 2-0. That was, hold on. <sighs> we'll take a hard, hard detour here. <laughs> so we get to... This is a sports podcast, after all. After all. all. <laughs> um, so we get to... I get to Nashville. We do the brunch. I'm like super tired or whatever, but we, get, we end up going to the soccer game. It was a great way, I think, for you guys who were there a few days to kind of like chill out a little yeah. bit, watch a soccer game. I had yeah. fun going. Um. First of all, super strange. We parked in some dude's like yard. Oh yeah, because f- side note, Nashville FC. What is going on with that stadium? Yeah. It is like I. You think I'm kidding? Unless you've actually seen the stadium, it's like in the suburbs. It's like they just dropped the stadium in the middle of a town. Yeah, basically. And like, it's a really nice stadium. It's a really nice stadium, but it's just like it's literally like the end of the street is somebody's house. Yeah, like there's no like actual like support or like exit roads to like get the buses out or like to do anything it's just like yeah just go like there's like parking lots like a quarter mile that way and just figure it out so then people are renting out their front yards for people to park in just to hand them cash which by the way genius great idea absolute hustler right there but yeah so we end up just like driving by and this dude's like hey you need parking and sure, like, sure. <laughs> like we, just you're right, we do and this guy is like his like parking lot like chained off and like has like actual like spots that he has like set up and is like directing traffic in there you know whole setup it was it was he's incredible. been doing this for a while now. i mean this dude i mean he's making bank so i don't yeah. blame him but honestly i feel like everyone on that street has colluded and set oh, the price yeah. to like 30 bucks oh yeah they all they all drop the price below what the actual parking is mm-hmm. just to screw them over and then they closer. make sure they don't compete with each other so. exactly they formed a union exactly <laughs> basically <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, they formed a union there. I mean, that was hilarious. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, was, that was unique. And then soccer game was super fun. Yeah, super the fun. The problem was I, when we came, coming in, we were talking about which team we were going to bet on. Because if you're going to go to a sporting event, you got to live sweat the game. Exactly. So God. LA Galaxy were favored over National. I was like, hey, guys, like, let's just bet National. Like, home team ride. Mm-hmm. I got a few people on it. So I parlayed over two over a goal and a half scored. So they need two total goals to score and Nashville to win. Got decent odds on it. You know, put the bet down. Let's go enjoy the game. Nashville gets up two nothing. Well, th- well, wait. Th- literally, when we get in the stadium, the first thing we see is Nashville uh, is LA Galaxy going for a penalty kick. Yep, and That's right. the Nashville FC goalie literally is like diving the correct direction, but is nowhere near the ball and just toes this thing away from the goal. An amazing save. Literally, the first thing we saw, we were like, "Holy crap, this is awesome!" Yep. And then so we watch the game. Nashville gets up two nothing. It's electric. But as Andres and I always say, the worst goal, worst lead to have in sports is a 2-0 lead in soccer. Yep. And then Galaxy come roaring back. They score two goals. Ga- goal, game ends in a tie. Yeah. I lose the bet, which I doubled down on a Whatever. few too many times. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, it was just a horrible betting break. That was, <laughs> that that was, was bad. It was rough. <laughs> so, oh, this two, up, up to nothing. But hey, that rush when I had the correct score, 1-0 for like yeah. 10 minutes was pretty great. <laughs> For 10 minutes. And then when the second goal got scored, everyone's standing up cheering. I'm just saying, no! Yeah. Um. I, this the crowd at the stadium was awesome. Yeah. Right? Fun. Yeah. I haven't been to a ton of MLS games. I've been to one mm-hmm. before, but the crowd was awesome. It was pretty packed. They have like a band. They have like drums yeah. and yeah. stuff I there. I think Nashville FC have like a fan base like that. I guess they yeah. do. I mean, apparently they're terrible, but they're like new, yeah. so like it makes sense. But I mean, they got a decent fan base out mm-hmm. there. Like, I mean, I like soccer. Yeah. Games. yeah. It was I'll, fun. And, I'll say it. The Galaxy were a good team. They're one of the more prominent uh, MLS teams. They have more mm-hmm. money than a lot of other teams. So I don't think they've been good recently, but like they, historically yeah. they've been good. Yeah. So. 
that was cool. Good way to start today. And then after that, we ended up going back to the Where did we go? Airbnb. Airbnb. Do we go to the Do we go to the Pantheon? No, nope. no. We went after the winery on Monday. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. What did we do? We did we, something else. We went, I know we went out to Broadway that night. What do we do for dinner? Oh, Taco Bell Cantina. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, how could we forget? Yeah. So we go back to the Airbnb. We kind of hang out, you know, pregame a little before we go out. And then we go to the Taco Bell Cantina, which Raj, I just want to turn the mic over to you, give you a feature <laughs> segment on here. Talk about the Taco Bell Cantina. What is it? What do we do? How was it? I can die happy. <laughs> it was a dream come true. I like, I see the sign outside and I'm like looking up, I'm like, I'm in heaven. So describe what the Taco Bell Cantina is for the fans. So... Imagine a honky tonk, like one of. The, so what's a honky tonk? So a honky tonk's kind of like a live music bar that, that I'm, I'm down the south. I think that's what they call yep, them all. Yep. It's like like a live music bar. Imagine that, but mixed with a Taco Bell. That's yeah. basically what it was. Yeah. So you see the sign. It's like a nice neon neon light sign. You're like, oh, cool. You walk in. There's live music. There's a band performing, and this Taco Bell sells booze. Yeah, it did. Spiked Baja Blast, spiked freezy freezes. You can get whatever. Yep. So like I walk in, I'm like, this is so cool. Yeah. And then I go, I order my food and then I go look at the menu for the, um, for like the spike drinks. Yep. And then I'm like, I need to get a spike Baja blast while I'm here. You have to. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no well liquor there either. Yeah, I'm pretty just... sure they use Bacardi. Oh my God. <laughs> I th- uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they did too. Cause yeah. I looked at the shelf. I saw Bacardi, Don Julio and Tito's. If somebody put Don Julio into a Baja blast, they need to be tried for war crimes. Cause what are we doing here? Oh no, it might've been 1800. Be better. What? Yeah, it's either it was either really good it tequila better or than eighteen hundred. I think it was, if they were putting Don Julio in there, you would have some issues. I don't, well, they ha- I think they had Don Julio locked up, oh, okay. but they also had a bottle of Jack for some reason. I don't know what drink at Taco Bell. Would it be whiskey. like a like a Coke float or whatever? Oh like you could yeah. Just, like, the, yeah, I don't know if they had a Coke freeze though. They, I don't know, whatever, or like a Pepsi yeah. freeze, or, like whatever they had. But still, it's it was a cool experience. Like you know, yeah. it's like the food's the same basically. I it's Taco it. Bell. Yeah. I mean, it's it's good food just to get to like fill up your system to make yeah. sure it that was, you're not going to be. It wasn't overpriced. Like yeah. it's the same prices here. Yeah. So well, that was maybe, good. Like, that was good. Thank God. So like you sit down, we had our food. Yeah, yeah. but the drinks were expensive there. God well, damn. obviously, it was like I think nine or eleven bucks for it, yeah. something like that, which is cheaper than the rest of Broadway, yeah. which is a problem. I know. God. But like you know, chill vibes, live music, and then uh. There was a liquor enforcement officer checking IDs. Oh yeah, that was so funny because we go in there and like um we just like obviously you have to like show the person your ID to like get it scanned. Mm-hmm. But I'm assuming that what ends up happening is at a certain point, like they have like a liquor enforcement officer go in there to like actually check everybody's ID again because that is probably the first place anybody that's not 21 tries to get into is yeah. the Taco, Taco Bell, Bell Cantina because yep, yep. there's no way people are taking it seriously in there. Nope. So yeah, so they had like they had some guy kind of like walk by and like check all of our IDs and he's like, okay, you're good. And it's like the bartender was definitely not did not care. No, Dude, that, not no, at all. That bartender, he was a lot of energy, but. Good lord. He looked at my ID for half a second. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, okay. It's like, all right, whatever. But yeah, we got those scanned. Then we went to did we go to Barstool that yes, day? Yes, we did go to Barstool. Yeah, yeah, that was Barstool. And then we did then we rode the bull. Yep. At, yeah, we um, did Nashville that, that Underground. Place is actually yeah. really neat. Underground, I always yeah. kind of forget like the whole trip feels like a whirlwind whirlwind. I'm sure it does for you guys too. Yeah. I, I can't even remember like what we did on each day as well that well because we were just like bouncing between places. Just so many different places. So yeah. little sleep, so tired, just oh, God. going through the motions. Um but that place that we went was super fun because it was like it had a bunch of arcade game. It was like mm-hmm. a bar, of course. Had a bunch of arcade games that you could like load your like guard on. And I thought it was a really good yeah. way. Like we killed a lot of time in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I killed time is a bad word, but we spent a lot of time in there. Yeah, doing things versus like when you're at a club or a bar, you mm-hmm. kind of just hanging out. You're just like standing there. It's like you could actually just go do stuff. They had like the they had like the mini bowling. They had yeah, like the like ski ball. They had, they had like the basketball. Little basketball also, yeah. just want to put it out here. I'm. Uh, beat Jacob in a three-game series of Mario Kart. Um, <laughs> Jacob's on so the actual driver. Kart. He, he scuffed. Not good. Um, trash. I'll, put, I'll clip this and let him know about it. <laughs> awesome. But, um, but no. So we did that. That was super fun. Riding bowling. the bowl was fun. Yeah, yeah. Riding the bowl was fun. Although I was annoyed because he he was controlling mm-hmm. it. So for anybody that doesn't know, it's like a mechanical bowl with like a little like inflatable pool essentially around it no water in it but it's like like a bounce house basically yeah. so you don't like break your leg but um the rope that you hold on to the bowl with has like two very large knots in it one of them's kind of up higher if you're like holding it like a little bit looser like up at the top one of them is very very low close to where the mechanical bowl is and he specifically says the guy that's operating it every time he's like 
get closer to the front, which makes sense because that's where the center of gravity yep. is. He wants you to stay in the middle. But what that means for dudes specifically is that there is a lar- like a very thick rope <laughs> that is tied together in a big ass knot right on your balls. Yep. And it hurt. And it hurt a lot. It hurt a lot. <laughs> I was shocked that usually I feel like bulls that you have press a button and it goes through its cycle and it yeah. speeds up. But he was controlling. Yeah, it, like, he had like a joystick and was like and it was controlling like low key, himself. Like really aggressive because like you'd go the first few minutes, okay, he takes it easy, and then all of a sudden the the bull is just like forward, back, yep. forward, backwards, and like you're in so much pain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why do you think like, I gotta jump off like how yeah. I did? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. just gotta jump off. Yeah. So um, the bull was fun though. It was of course, so of fun, course, yeah. you had to. It you was, had to. Like it was we're Nashville. Come on. Yeah. Went in Nashville. Went in Nashville, right? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we spent a lot of time there. That was fun. Yeah. Um, and then that was good. after then we, that, we just spent the yeah, night just on Broadway, Broadway yeah. bouncing between different bars. Yeah, it was like what we it was like. Some of our favorites were like what Luke Bryant's mm-hmm. uh, Honky uh, Tonk Central. Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk, Honky Tonk, Tonk, Tonk Central. Love that was Honky fun. Tonk yeah. Central. Um, there was Al Dean's was mm-hmm. it was fine. Um, there were, I think we were at Kid Rock's for a little bit. Yeah. We went to um, oh what was that other one? It was like Express or something. Uh, it was Honky like, Tonk Express. No, 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 no. Miranda Lambert. Miranda Lambert. I think, yeah. but I think it was, there was Tuesday. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. Tuesday. But then there was also like uh, D- it's a, it was Dirks. like BG. Yeah, Dirks. Dirks yeah. Uh, Whiskey Row. Yeah, Whiskey Row. Yep, yeah, there was there was that one. Um, there was there was we went to a ton. Of There's them. a yeah. million of them there. Just stop yeah. in a little bit, hang out, move on. Yeah, go um, see what the other ones are. Like. Yeah, Luke Bryan's definitely fun that night. It's like mm. the top bottom floor, very what you'd expect from a lot live of music, live music, yeah. music, chill vibes, and up top you get to a, into a club, it's like a rooftop bar. Just yeah, my yeah. surprise, I'm like hearing car- heavy country music and live music, and as I'm walking up the stairs, I slowly start hearing Drake, and I'm like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah, and I get to the top of the stairs, I'm like, oh and my god, a there's club. a club up here, it, 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 dude. It's a complete like complete shift because you're right at the bottom. You're hearing like very like country music people can sing, and mm-hmm. then you get up and like Broadway girls, I was great, just going, yeah, <laughs> I was playing. This is stuff that's not going to get played. Floor shaking, yeah. like oh my god! It's actually impressive though how you can't hear it at all. On the yeah. Floor. Oh like, yeah. You're completely sheltered from yeah. it. Um, a it's a whole different there. world. In the top oh, floor. friends in low places was, yes. was another good one. That we, we went I, to that. Yeah, I don't know if you. Yeah, went I didn't to that go one. Yeah. low places now. Um, yeah, that's where. Well, I yeah. Go friends. yeah, that was a good one. Um, but then kind of Tuesday was kind of our bigger day. We went to a wine and whiskey Monday. distillery. Monday. Jesus. Monday. Monday. How can I forget? Uh, wine and whiskey distillery. Bourbon. Well, same thing. Wait, why is it bourbon? Uh, because of the percentage of corn uh, with that they use within there has to be above 50%, and they use a new barrel each time that they put ding, it ding, in. Ding, 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 ding. That's the difference between bourbon and whiskey. We learned that. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so we went to a, a wine, bourbon, and food kind of tasting pairing yeah. thing. A couple of people went to just the wine tasting. We All three of us did the yeah, we were wine always yeah, bourbon. Yeah, um, that was super fun. I yeah, felt man. we were all talking about it. It's like... When you're in college and you're just going out to the bar, you're drinking the cheapest alcohol, yeah. um, not doing anything fancy. And this felt like by far, I don't know if this is the first time for you guys, this felt like by far the fanciest thing like, I've I, ever done. Yeah, I felt so alcohol. poor going in there. I was like, how are they allowing Like we here? walk and we first look at our plate of like, like hors d'oeuvres. Is that yeah, what it's, it's the called? hors d'oeuvres where it's like, it's five of like these very, very small mm-hmm. things of food. Like appetizers. And then it's like food. two wine glasses, like another cup next to it, like a, a very fancy like bourbon glass. Like bourbon glass, glass. And then there's another one for a cocktail. And mm-hmm. it's like, I'm so, like, what are we doing? Here? Like, I'm looking like, at the food menu. I see duck flatbread. Yeah, it was like, it, yeah, it was like duck. Duck and then flat there was like bread, tomato pie with like brie cheese mm, in the middle. Uh, we had the shrimp on the cracker yeah. type of thing. Um, that's not what it's called. <laughs> but, shrimp on the cracker. <laughs> shrimp on a cracker. What a tough name. There was uh, there was a um, a club cracker with pimento cheese. Oh, and, then yeah, put, like, and then we had the truffle. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Truffle for the chocolate. So yeah. I know I have a picture of this thing somewhere. I have the name of all the wines. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not listing off all the wines right now. This is not sponsored. What were the grapes for the last wine we had called? I don't care. Well, shout out Bell Mead. Wine shout out Bell Mead. Yeah, actually, great yeah, experience. It was yes. great. Um, we ended up doing three wines, two bourbons. Um, well, it was the same bourbon, but yeah. same bourbon. One was, was a cocktail. A, one was a cocktail. One was just uh, neat. But mm-hmm. that first cocktail we had, the apricot was sour, was strong. strong. <laughs> yeah, and it was the first thing that we drank at so, the winery. And it mind was like, you, by the way, let me just set this up real quick. So for <laughs> for Monday. Everybody wakes up, so we need to get to this place. Oh yeah, we at, didn't even like talk about. Hang that. on. <laughs> oh, so we need to get to this tasting at one o'clock, right? Everybody's you know kind of like through like you know everybody like wakes up like meandering around kind of like you know oh like I'm gonna eat breakfast I'm gonna shower I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that whatever, and it's about twelve o'clock, and half the group isn't even ready, and we're like guys it's like a 
25 to 20 minute drive. Arrive 15 minutes early. Mm-hmm. And we don't learn that yet. Yeah. No, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but so we're like, guys, like we should probably like get going soon and then it's like oh, okay well i'll go take a shower <laughs> it's like okay we're kind of still meandering and it's like 12 30 and then there's like a couple of us are like hey like we're just gonna like go now and like we'll like go check it out whatever and then we realize we're like damn we need to get there 15 minutes early because that's what it says on the actual tickets they're like you have to show up 15 minutes early or else you will be left behind so we're like oh we're screwed <laughs> so we show up we are flying my group gets there early. We show up 12.57, <laughs> three minutes before this thing is supposed to start. We walk in. We are exasperated. We're like, look, we're here for the one o'clock to the tasting. Can we, we just need to check in. There's, there's more of us. And the woman's like, okay, you're good. <laughs> like, it's fine. And we're like, oh, I thought we were supposed to. No, we just put that on there because people will show up an hour late if we don't do that. And then we're like, oh, Okay, so then we go upstairs. Mind you, I check Life 360. Raj is going 110 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> he's going... in the other group trying to get to this place. And we're like, it's okay. I'm, you can come. Keep in mind, I'm flying the, in a RAV4. Yeah, he's flying in a RAV4 in sport mode, trying to get the rest of the group here. And we text. It's like, it's okay. We're fine. We have we have everything. We were able to check everybody. I in. did not slow down. No. But honestly, and the funny part is when we like, obviously... Brand group shows up. It's totally fine. Like we we were waiting for people anyway. We show up, mind you. There's two people that show up 15 minutes I know. after we yeah, get that's, in the room. The, the, <laughs> funny, the funniest part of it all, I think, is that when we were sitting down in our, uh, I don't know what they call her, the person who was giving sommelier, sommelier. Yeah. yeah. Um, when she was doing her whole entire thing and talking about everything, these two random people like show up 10, 15 minutes late. And she's like, oh, come on come in. Come on sit in. Down. Like, sit down. Like, 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 I'm so excited. We're like, I was like, and then meanwhile, like, we're like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to, our tickets didn't, like, yeah. yeah. Dude, we're absolutely panicking. Mind you, everybody, it's like, you know, we're showing up dressed as, like, you know, nice college students. We then have, like, an older couple, an older couple that got here on a Harley. That, so they're like, like leather jackets that they put behind, whatever. Then the, the, the two women that are sitting next to me. Like the, some of the nicest dresses yep, I've ever they seen. They were so like, nice. Probably ten thousand dollars in jewelry, and then like kind of another like normal couple in the corner that is just like a bunch of college students. It was the weirdest group of people yeah. on the planet. I say that we were well dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for the entire trip, like I was very stunned by how many people didn't tip, like weren't really that respectful. Like I don't it know. Was it was shocking. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we'll get into that later or but, something, but yeah. um. But no, we did the whole winery. Totally worth the money. If we're talking oh, about yeah. a rum and coke, talking fifteen dollars when you're out on Broadway, the seventy five dollars that we paid for the tasting yeah, was for worth three every penny. wines, yeah, uh, two tastings of whiskey, like the food, and the, then just the, the experience, food, experience of talk, being talk, just talking. Just yeah. enjoy the taste of alcohol. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also the shockingly, we were making this sound incredibly bougie, which it felt like it was. But then, like you look at the bottles of wine, it was like thirty five dollars for a yeah. bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. Like it really wasn't yeah. like insane, and it was like. Maybe like sixty for a thing of bourbon, like yeah. it really, and it was like nice well, bourbon. The experience 90, was just, the, oh, it was ninety. It was ninety for the good one. The, the, the bad one was the experience. Nice, was, oh, it was ninety for the good one, yeah, obviously. But that's the one we tasted, I think. Yeah, yeah. the experience was just nice as a whole. Yeah, like, it was really cool. Um, and then what wine? What favorite wine? Um, red, whatever the Muscadine one okay, was. Yeah. Whatever the the first sparkling the white, white one. White yeah, yeah, the, it was the was white so carriage good. horse or whatever. Fantastic, oh, so best wine I've ever had. That was so um, good. Dude. Had like an apple pear thing to it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It did, it did. Yeah. Um, great moment during it. Can't let Raj off the hook with this. Yeah, one. Yeah, that's on me. Do you oh, want, do you want, it, do you want uh, someone else to say it? Or no, if I got this myself. Okay. So. We're about to taste the bourbon, and um, she's telling she didn't pour it yet or anything, and she's telling us to like you know kind of like for people who struggle to drink like liquor that's like you know very strong, especially like bourbon. She says you should like sniff it first, get a smell of it, and af- my dumbass thinks she meant sniff the glass because I thought she might have sprayed something in there like an aromatic or something in the glass. So I go to pick up the glass and I smell it. Everyone's looking at me like, "What is wrong with you?" And I, I all, I, all I smell is nothing. I'm like, oh. "Up." Yeah. So <laughs> this dude decides to pick up an empty glass and starts sniffing it in front of the sommelier. Yep. And she's like, "Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> like I haven't poured it yet. <laughs> like 
this dude is like the du- and second only to the next dumbest thing, which was our next friend. As she goes, so don't take a sip yet. Looks to her right, and this dude is immediately like chugging half of what he just tasted. It's like, it's dude, like, what are we doing? Like, we can't take you guys anywhere. Like, it was definitely a low moment for our group. That was bad. Jesus. Oh okay, no one, no one's intoxicated at this point. No, no it this, was like we were like tasting this like a couple things of this wine. This is just everybody being dumb. This is dumb. just them being dumb. dumb. Like. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest, Raj, I did think about sniffing the glass. Like It did cross my mind. And I was like, wait, no, it's Surely not. not. Surely not. <laughs> I just that. acted on the impulse. Yeah, you did act on the impulse. Oh, I thought, I, you know, in my opinion. She did, she did make it sound like we yeah. needed to sniff the glass. Yeah. And I thought maybe she sprayed some like kind of aromatic thing. There's something yeah. in the glass to enhance the taste of it. Well, if you were like Jacob, you would have been taking notes and you would have known not to do <laughs> oh, that. Not, hot take, Jacob's notes weren't that good. I was sitting next to him. <laughs> Side note: Our friend Jacob was taking because we got like the pencils and like the almost like the review. Was sheets. he taking detailed notes? Actually, no, he wasn't. Actually, hang on. <laughs> so you're supposed to like uh, in these tastings, I guess you're supposed to like you know write down the name of whatever you're drinking, give it a rating for yourself, like what it is taste like, what were they saying, like what were the notes of whatever. I, I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't really taste the notes of like much of anything. There was like maybe the apple and like the first thing, but there was yeah. like yeah, and this bourbon it's supposed to taste like notes of this. I'm like I can't taste yeah, it. Like, it's bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but um, you're not a taster. Um, but Jacob is like he is writing down notes the entire time that she is talking, and I'm like, dude, we're not getting tested. What are we taking <laughs> notes on? And I look at this thing, it's just scribbles all over his thing, and I'm like, what are you writing down? And like when you like start trying to read it, it like just doesn't. Like, there's nothing on there. It's yeah. just like, what are we? What are we writing? Yeah, J- Jacob. Jacob definitely took the notes, taking seriously. <sighs> yeah. yeah. And then meanwhile, there's me writing, me likey, me this likey, is gas. good. I yeah. Like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but that was all good. And then we, we ended up uh, the pimento cheese that oh we had God. during the tasting was so good. Yeah. Was fantastic. So we ended up. Okay. Wait. I need to address something about this pimento yeah, cheese. Yeah. Why did you tell me you guys threw it away? We didn't. I didn't tell you. Jacob kept. Te- Jacob called us. Calls up our friend Kenzie and says, "Hey, but so w- one of our check-ins was overweight, so we had to rearrange." Jacob calls our friend Kenzie and says, "Hey, the pimento cheese. We had to throw it away." So I had no idea that the pimento cheese was in the bag, and I didn't unpack the check-in until the next day. So. <laughs> Because I didn't know there was a perishable yeah. sitting in the so bag. We're jumping ahead here, but we'll just yeah. So we checked bag overweight. Give me a sec. Um, we open up. It's check, in the fridge. <laughs> check bag is overweight, and so we're like rummaging through everything. And I think Jacob calls you, and I think he's supposed to say we might have to lose the pimento cheese because. It's still good. Pimento cheese on video. I will say it's any, still okay. Anybody, it actually is still okay yeah, for anybody. It wasn't out for too long. Yeah, but. Um, so I think Jacob, Jacob's calling you and like, I wanted to keep the pimento cheese, but I told him, I was like, if we can't get, that's the first thing that's going to go. If we can't get, cause it we're, pa- well, we're packing like handles of alcohol back home, which are definitely like the weightiest, but we're not going to throw those out. We're not bringing Spirinoff back either. We're no. bringing the nice no, stuff yes, that we yeah. bought at the yes. d- the distilleries in, and in a couple yeah. of us went to a Jack Daniels distillery. Yes. So <laughs> that stuff back. Um, and so I knew we couldn't obviously throw that stuff out. That's the heaviest. So I was like. The pimento cheese might have to go. I weighed the bag. Okay, it's a couple pounds. But like, let's see what we can do to rearrange and stuff like that. But I think Jacob just outright says, we're throwing away the pimento cheese. I don't think he heard or paid attention to what was going on at all and just heard pimento cheese, something, something gone. Because I was really moving the stuff around myself and then taking stuff out. And then Jacob was just like on the phone like, yeah, the pimento cheese might have to go. He didn't say might. He said the pimento cheese is gone. And I'm like... I'm like, well, that's okay. I mean, when whatever. all of us, we literally, after we were able to get it underweight, we all celebrated and said we didn't have to sacrifice the pimento <laughs> And cheese. I said several times, too. I'm like, oh, I can't believe we had to throw well, away then, the cheese. I mean, Jamie at one point goes, why did you throw out the pimento cheese? And I was like, we didn't. <laughs> no one directly <laughs> like, told me <laughs> that the pimento cheese wasn't thrown away. It's goddamn pimento cheese. So to my surprise the next day, I'm going to unpack it. I open <laughs> and the check an entire... and I see the bag of all the cheeses. Mind you, there's like that little thing that I just had. We had like five of them. <laughs> it was three pimento cheeses and two corn dips. Yeah. I open the bag. Two of them opened in the thing. Whatever. It's yeah. whatever. So I open and I go, Jacob. Yeah. I immediately text him. I'm like, you idiot. You could have told me there was a perishable in the bag. And he's like, what? I thought I did. I think, well, I think either someone texted me or we talked the next yeah. day. And someone was like, oh, like, did the pimento cheese make it back? And I was like, yeah, of course it did. I never, like, threw it out. Yeah. And then, so, and then I was like, where did this misunderstanding come from? Because I was the one who rearranged the bags. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, the misunderstanding came from Jacob trying to yeah, be funny. Uh, whatever. Um, but, um, pimento cheese was great. So we ended up 
getting a bunch of pimento cheese, mm -hmm. um, getting, yeah. some uh, getting some wine that we had bought, and yeah. then just kind of like drinking at the uh, picnic table, which was fantastic. And then again, shout out Bell Mead Winery right. in, in Nashville area. They just start giving us stuff. They, even the, this even guy the comes, strawberry smash cocktail thing with the, yeah. with the bourbon oh, that was, was that, good. That was that, yeah. 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 Um, but this guy comes out and he's like, oh, hey, I made you some corn dip because like I just thought you would all would That's like it. Came, Here you go. Yeah, he just showed up yeah, and just he, gave it to us. Yeah, and then he just gave it to us. It was gas i liked it better than pimento cheese but it was just fantastic mm -hmm. and then kenzie ended up going to buy more corn yeah dip. yeah and we were just sitting there grubbing on uh pita chips and oh, so pimento good. cheese and corn dip and um well, uh, the riesling and then the uh yeah the white carriage, carriage horse yeah, yeah. yeah wine and then we ended up doing the um we went to the uh, bourbon bar towards the end of that and then we ended up getting kenzie and i split a uh, strawberry smash cocktail which was fantastic mm -hmm. yeah um i never thought like bourbon could like be go sweet with strawberry yeah. and be sweet like that yeah. i was surprised honestly yeah. like the bourbon cocktails i was very mm -hmm. impressed with because i think like bourbon on itself was like very strong. strong yeah very strong like too strong for me to like want to sip on but then the cocktails were like fantastic like mm -hmm. strawberry smash it could have just like yeah like you just yeah i'm not gonna say what, i'm not gonna you say what I you could have yeah you I'm, not, I'm not gonna say that <laughs> but um but yeah, so the winery was a great experience. The winery was awesome. Then we after had, that, we went to the Parthenon. Right yep. to the Parthenon, saw that. I mean, there really was. It was really. It was kind of late at that point, honestly. Mm -hmm. It was kind of late, yeah, because like I mean, we just wanted to really stop by and say we went to the Parthenon. Which side note? Why is the Parthenon in I have, I know, Nashville, I read, Tennessee, I read, I read and not Athens, Georgia? I read the signs. No idea. So the par anyway. par the Parthenon's there because they wanted to like put Nashville on the map. And so they built all these like buildings, like they put the pyramids at one point, they had built them mm -hmm. for like an ex exhibition for everyone to come to Nashville and the Parthenon just stayed. Yeah. People had way too much I think time it, I answer. saw it. It was part of Vandy's campus at some point yeah, it too. Was, yeah. yeah. And so there was right. a casino too. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. Gosh, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was cool. I mean, just like kind of seeing the architecture and everything. Mm -hmm. in oh, there. Going, going back in time, the, this, when we were going to the winery and we were late, Jacob and I were out at that point, like shopping. Which we ran to the coolest alcohol shop with like, it was just piled high with everything. It felt like you were in the room of requirement, like the room <laughs> where you place everything in Harry Potter and like everything's crowding you. That's what the alcohol shop was like. But anyway, I get back and I'm like, oh, wow, like we're kind of cutting it a little bit close, but I'll be fine. Like I'm sure everyone will be out of the shower because we have to leave so soon. Yeah. I get in. Somebody's in the shower. I was like, what are you doing in the shower? Like, <laughs> I, I was out like you were here the whole day. That's it was so like, uh, never put seven dudes with one bathroom. Yeah, that was. It, it, we made it work, but it was definitely we had some never uh, do that again. Uh, timelines, but we ended up ordering barbecue for dinner. Yeah, that was night. that was really good. At least barbecue, amazing. Yeah, yep, solid. At, least, at least barbecue. Yep. Um, I got the brisket sandwich. Yeah, I think I got the pulled pork sandwich. Was I got the good. pulled pork tacos. Mac, mac and cheese was gas. Mac and cheese was gas. I love all of us just like because you get, can combo it, so you had this entree and then two sides. Yeah, everybody got mac and cheese. Everybody, everybody got, got mac and cheese. You had to. Um, I mean, at a the only shame place. was that it was small. Yeah. It was small, but it worked. And then I guess th that night we were kind of just doing uh, Broadway. Ghost again. tour. Ghost tour. Ghost tour, which was so weird. Nicholas but kind of fun. <laughs> but kind of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we beforehand, we kind of saw like an advertisement. We were like looking at things to do. It was like, oh, it's a haunted bar crawl. So it's like, OK, well, it's probably just going to be like, you know, like a bar crawl. Like we stopped by like maybe a handful of bars on Broadway. Kind of like see like learn about like the history of them and like see how like oh like this building was built like yep. this time whatever so we show up to do, do not rush do do not start playing this guy's music <laughs> he's not picking it up yeah it's not probably gonna pick not it up. there you go anyway <laughs> okay that'll get cut anyway <laughs> um we, probably not i don't know how much is getting cut this episode <laughs> true um so we started at the hard rock cafe of all places yeah and this dude, um, I forget what his name is, but whatever. Mick Danger. Mick Danger. He is, he is an interesting vibe and has, for some reason, picked every single bar that has just the worst history. Well, I think that's the point. Yeah, you've ever heard. And it's like you, we were thinking like, oh, well, we'll like kind of learn about like, oh, well, this was like what it was like in this time period. But you learn it's like, wait. This isn't like the Wild West. We're like way too far east for that. This is just like the worst things you could possibly like some imagine. Dude got murdered in the bar. In the it's alley like, area. oh yeah, this place used to be a brothel that housed thirty-eight women. 
14 of them were murdered in sexual assaults. Also, this area, yeah, that's a slave trading building. So you're like, let's go get a drink. Yeah, it's like, yeah, let's go get a drink and celebrate in this bar. It's like, I don't want to anymore. <laughs> like, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> but side note, be, besides that, be, besides that whole thing being weird, um, it was very cool learning about like the history of Nashville and like seeing all the different places. At the end, it actually started um, t- kind of turning into more of what I thought it was going to be like. Where we went to this one bar, it was like Skulls. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was in Tavern Printer's Alley, which I think yeah, Printer's Alley, which is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Printer's Alley. It was actually nice because I don't think we would have gotten out. In no, that I had no idea that existed. Yeah, yeah, and that was a dive bar place. Like if we ever went back, I I think we could spend a whole night like just bar oh, calling yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we went there, and then yeah, Skulls, and we learned some history of a famous artist who had gotten killed. Yeah. Um, because people wanted him for his money. Yeah. Um, which was really rad. They might have used a butter knife to kill him because they sliced his neck three times and, and it, he was still alive. Yeah, that's still a bad alive. knife. We got yeah. They gotta be better. Yeah. Gotta um, be better than that. Do we want to discuss the warm Tito shot? I think we have to, <laughs> dude. I, 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 dude, I don't think this podcast episode would be complete without the warm Tito shot. Dude, so we're gonna have to. This we're literally gonna have to like make this an, an episode on its own at this yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> it, we, might get, we might not get anything we could else. Just, yeah. and that's okay. <laughs> we could just do like a Nashville review. Yeah. And so Justin, it. do you want to explain the warm Tito shot? Yeah, I'll explain the warm Tito shot. So the theme of the weekend for especially one Justin Curtis was shots, shots, shots. <laughs> um, and part of the problem with the bar crawl was that we had 15 minutes when we were in each bar. So by the time you order your drinks, if you're getting like a 12 ounce beer or anything like that, the there's, actually, chug there's a lot of liquid to put down in, in that in that short period of time. Um, so at the second bar we went to, we ended up, me and a couple other people end up doing a shot. And when we go to the third bar, Jacob's like, our friend Jacob, who used to be on the podcast we've been talking about, <laughs> um, he's like we, should, like, we should do a shot. And I was like, we're like, oh, okay, like you pick it. We're at this nice hotel bar it's a, it's area. It's a hotel bar. They have it's like called, their it's own. Called, yeah, it's called the Dream Hotel. They, they have a menu with the actual featured drinks. They yeah. have, like, the featured drinks. They have dry ice that they were using mm-hmm. for some of the drinks. They were like, we're talking like, drinks and stuff. Like it, this is a nice bar. Yeah, and there's multiple bars in this establishment, so it's not like it's not like it's a one-off dive bar, one-off mm-hmm. hotel yeah. bar. It is it is nicer than that. Um, Raj and Kenzie end up getting like cocktails. Yeah, I also like, got a, a oh, you got a cocktail too. too yeah. yeah, like it was a cocktail type of place. And then all of a sudden, war- Tito shots, not over ice or anything like that, just like room temperature Tito shots get poured into seven, six, six glasses, six glasses, mm-hmm. six bourbon glasses, because they don't have oh, no, actual five. shot glasses. What? There. Five. five? Yeah. Because they don't yeah. have shot glasses they don't there. Have shot glasses because there. they don't think degenerates are walking in the door. <laughs> Just my immediate reaction is I'm sitting there paying for my drink, and I hear Jacob go up to the bar. Can I get five Tito shots? Not chilled. Not no. anything. Nothing. Not on the rocks. Not neat. Not enough. Just warm, room temperature Tito's. Even the bartender will like step back for a second. She's like, "What?" Yeah, it was. It was bad. Um, it was a tough look for all of us. But yeah. So once, then the five of you decide to choke those things down. And yeah. But all we nearly vomit. Well, the, the problem is place. we had no choice. Well, yeah, because yeah. you, you were already in too deep. Yeah. We, <laughs> you already ordered them. So that I would say there was like the the nose fiasco at the winery was bad. The drinking the bourbon while she was saying not to drink the bourbon was bad. The worst moment of the entire weekend, I think, was, that was bad. That was. That was bad. The other ones were you funny. You paid for this that. one was embarrassing. <laughs> that one like, was. It was a bad look on all of us. That was bad. Man. Um, like, so, wait, did you tell Jacob to go to the bar and get whatever? Or no, no, no. So when we were walking before, this is where it's Jacob's fault. When we were walking into, like, after we had went to Alley Taps and done the green tea shots, he was like, "Oh, don't worry." I'll, he's told me before we even knew where we we're going next, I'll get shots at the next bar. It's like, okay, okay. But once we walked in the front door, he was like, "I don't know what I'm getting." It, it should have been. It should have been a. This is not a shot establishment. Like this is either a get like a just a mm. beer or a seltzer or something or get a cocktail. Or if you just wanted something like that, you could just order that neat. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> like, but or on the rocks or yes. chilled or something. Yes, but it should have been very clear that this was not a like a place where you were slamming back shots. <laughs> and he just walked up, made his. He was like, "What does everyone want?" And we we're like, "Well, I guess you choose, Jacob." And he walks up and he orders the Tito shot. Five. By the time Tito I even because they're playing Saquon Barkley had just gotten traded to the Eagles that day, yeah. and they're playing as uh, an old Highlights. game, an old yeah. game with the Eagles and Giants. Some of us are distracted. All of a sudden, I see five Tito shots laid out, and I'm like, "Oh, what? What are we doing?" <laughs> I just love how confident he was walking up to this night, this bartender who knows how to make these like really cool tricks. And he goes, "Yeah, can I get five Tito shots?" 
<laughs> she, she had to have thought he was joking at first. She had to have thought I, she was joking. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Like, yeah, that was a horrible Even look. I looked over, I'm like, what? Whatever. Yeah. That was an awful look. And there was, was. Yeah, it was a terrible look. Um, like, anyway. even, either way, you could have like got, can I have a green tea shot? Can I have a starburst shot? You could have asked for any like mixed shot. Or, or even shot if you wanted to still do shots. Do you have a shot that you like? That, Recommend. Do you have like a ask. specialty shot that you do here? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys do like small specialty shots? Like, mm-hmm. the, like you, we we are twenty two years old. <laughs> we are allowed to talk to the bartender and ask them questions. We aren't in. It's not like when you have to cover your bar. cover your face and be like, "I want a beer, please." Yeah, you're not in like some sketchy dive bar where there's three hundred people trying to order drinks. There's like four people at the bar and the bartender makes drinks like that's what she does like that that's is, her thing that is beyond me the confidence you have to have to keep a straight face go up to this bartender at a nice well, hotel bar and say that it's incompetence he doesn't he like there's nothing there oh, no, i said confidence not competence no that, I know. that's clearly that's what, that's what i'm saying it's the issue it's like there's nothing like there he doesn't have confidence because right. he doesn't know not to like my how to tell you are an under well not underage but like how to tell you are a young drinker who just turned 21 yeah like right there five tito shots i don't even feel like that is reflective of our group though it was just a really bad moment it was just a yeah because the rest of us were getting like normal drinks there yeah, it was and you, we looked at the menu we're like huh this is oh, wow good. look at this and, like i mean I, i'll speak for our own group i think we're all very respectful very like well mannered oh, absolutely college yeah. students and like it, it yeah, you're not so much. But. <laughs> it was just so funny when when the shots came out, and I think Raj at one point said, "Wait, did you guys get Tito shots?" And I, I saw the bartender like laugh and chuckle. Yeah, and yeah. Like, as we're like passing around the glasses, and we're like, "Well, I guess it's, this too, is, late. Uh, it's yeah. too late now." Um, I spent so, like thirty five dollars on that or something like that. Well, so when we were at the big price point, was I spent one hundred and ten dollars at Barstool on a round for everybody. That was like. The second humbling moment of how expensive everything well, was. Price wise, it's not as bad as the others. I will say because yeah. you did get it for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was still like you do the math. Like it was eight just... divided by one ten. Yeah, it's not that. Yeah. Good. It's not good, but it's better than the others. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, it's still eight eighty. So yeah. drink. <laughs> we leave the dream hotel after being humiliated. Whatever. And then we ended up sending the night out. What was nice about the ghost tour was it did help kill some like time. Mm-hmm. Like you can't be out from 8 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Yeah. So yeah. it ended up killing some good time. And then we went out to some places that night. Yeah. Um, good time. Highlight of the night, the glizzy on the walk back. Oh home. <laughs> um, a common the thing. Broadway glizzy. Yes. Yeah. There's this little hot dog truck. There's multiple. There's multiple, multiple hot, hot dog, dog stands. Well, there's, there's a truck and then there's multiple stands. Yeah. And I knew after the night out, you know, a hot dog would just go well Dude. on the walk home because um, some people Ubered back, but it was fun to walk up at night. It wasn't that cold. So eating the hot dog on the way back was great. Um, and yeah, you guys played some cards that night. I ran Collins Pockets in ACDC. Oh I slept. Yeah, Justin. Just, I smeared off ice Justin as soon as he came out to the bathroom and he had his contacts out. So I have this picture. I'm glad you added the contact. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. you added the contact. So he my had contacts. his contacts out and I have this video. I have the video, but I got a screenshot of him looking down at the bottom, like squinting <laughs> to see what it was. <laughs> it, looked, it, looked, it looks like I'm like hunched over like a grandma <laughs> squinting. What and is I'm like, that? I'm like, <laughs> And you're like, I'm like, I know what it is because it's like pink. Yeah. And I bought them earlier today. So like I had a good reference, but I was like, huh? And then I just like picked it up and I was like, all right, I'm going to take a quick power nap before playing cards. Didn't wake up until seven. Yeah. yeah no way. We were supposed to set a, a five minute alarm for you to wake you up. And I like tell, just put it I tell one of our friends, I'm like, nah, just don't, put, don't. just put the alarm away. <laughs> just let him sleep. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. Exactly. Just let him sleep. It was bold of me to think that I was yeah. going to wake up. Did you up. know the bed pulls out though? No, not at all. Yeah. Um, there was a running joke the entire week. I was sleeping on the couch. Um, and it's a pull-out couch, but I was just like, after, uh, Peter, on the first night we were there, was like, oh, we can pull this out. I was like, oh, I'm not planning to. Like, it's not worth the effort. Like, I'm I, like, oh, valid, yeah. The, the couch is big enough just for me. Like, it's all good. And then everybody the next morning was like, Justin, you know the couch pulls out, right? It's a pull-out bed, right? Like, you you know that, right? And I was like, I know. Like, <laughs> everybody, everybody has told me. I know. I, like, I understand is, that. I, like, I put my sheets on just the couch. It's fine. And, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> um, But yeah, so that was... Tuesday, and then we woke up on... Nope, you know, that was Monday. Monday. Monday, Tuesday. It's where half the group went to the Jack Distillery. Half yes. the group went to Country Music Hall of Fame mm-hmm. and Broadway. Distillery was super fun. Yes. Uh, me, Raj, Andres, Jacob, and then our friend Kenzie all mm-hmm. went. Um, that was a fun time. It was a little bit... It was out closer to Knoxville, I think. It was about an hour oh, and a half Lynchburg, drive away. Lynchburg. Lynchburg. Yeah. Um, that was super fun. Tour guide. Awesome. Amazing. Um, super cool seeing how everything is made. Um, the whole entire place mm-hmm. for Jack Daniels just smells like... The va- like the air just smells yes. like alcohol. Yeah, and yeast. I, Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> like, I think my favorite part is like as you're walking through the tour, it starts slowly smelling more and more like Jack. Yeah, which is like because cool. like you start off with the charcoal, I'm like, 
I'm like, eh, I mean, that's just probably the alcohol. Well, in the and air. then you go to the, like the water, which doesn't yeah. smell like anything. And then as you keep walking through, you we like they also have their own water supply from a, like a creek or a stream. Yeah, it's like their own. It comes from yeah the the land. Yeah, ba- basically from the land. And then like you know, it's, it was a really cool thing. They have a little bit with Jack on the rocks and like a statue of Jack Daniels on top of on the, the rocks. Rock, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I, I sat there and I'm like, that's such a dad joke. Because our tour guide goes, the only time you'll get a free shot of Jack on the rocks. Ah, uh, it's water. Yep. Now here's a segment I like to call. Raj, explain that Instagram caption. Ah, uh, yes. So my Instagram caption was, it was something about Jack Daniel like died from a safe or something. I forget what I wrote. Yeah. But so we found out a story that Jack Daniels, um, he had a very weird work schedule. He was also an alcoholic since like 13. No, surely the man that made one of the biggest whiskey companies in the world wasn't an alcoholic. <laughs> but yeah, so he, for some reason, came into the office early that day and he couldn't get the safe open. So he decided to kick it. And uh, when he kicked it, he ended up breaking his foot. <laughs> and, you know, his pride and hubris got the best of him. And he kept walking around saying, no, nah, I'm fine. And then eventually he saw the doctor. and The doctor's like, why don't you come sooner? You're, you, you're infected. So then they amputated his foot. Infection spread amputated like a little bit of above his shin i think and they just kept amputating and amputating <laughs> until his leg was gone and at that point it was too late the infection spread everywhere he died and he died so jack daniels died from kicking a safe too hard because he got into work early in the morning so shout out sepsis <laughs> um remember your safe combination don't kick the safe and don't go to work early shout out yeah. john t yep um but that was the whole tour was super cool. Mm. Um, had a great time there. It's a beautiful day outside too. Yeah, and because you guys all went. Yeah, to, we went to the Country Music Hall of Fame yeah. uh, in Nashville. It was really really cool to kind of go see that. Like I'm not, I wasn't the biggest country music fan before going there, but like going to the Country Music Hall of Fame, you really get like an appreciation for like the actual art behind it. Because I know recently in like recent years, it's kind of like got a bit of a, a stigma to it, where it's like it's all kind of the same. It's all just like. It's all the same music. It's only talking about trucks, girls, and beer, which I mean, it is. But you really, like, you really do see like like it, like the grassroots of it, like how it was like very similar to like all the music beforehand. Like you see the different inspirations, the important people, like like the different uh, eras of country music, like how Johnny Cash is like he's known for like the biggest like he's one of the biggest like outlaw country singers, and then like you come into like a more modern country and stuff like that. They had like multiple shrines dedicated to taylor swift because she's obviously like started out as one of the biggest country music artists ever um they had like just a ton of different things uh in there it was just, it was really really cool just like seeing everything um L, like they had them like the busts at the end kind of like in the like any sports hall of fame where they have mm-hmm. like you know like the uh the bust of everybody um like elvis was in there johnny cash as i said um there was like a ton of other people in there like i can't think off the top of my head but it was really, really cool just like walking around in there. And then we just wandered down Broadway for a little bit. Um, it was a really nice day out. We got to go to some of the bars that we could actually see during the day. Uh, we went up to the rooftop of um, Friends in Low Places. That was a really fun time. Then we went to Rippy's Barbecue, which is right on the end of uh, Broadway. And their food is so goddamn good. It's absurd. We also then got um, the some somehow traditional nashville drink of a bushwhacker which is basically kind of it's kind of just like a, a frozen espresso martini like with chocolate too it yeah. sounds so good yeah it's so good dude <laughs> it like it wasn't super sweet it was like a little bit coffee yeah. but it was like chocolate too it was like it was so good because it was like it was like a slushy essentially mm-hmm. but it was oh it was so good got to try that check that off the bucket list and then we ended up going to the nice dinner later. Yeah, that yep. was where everybody reassembled. We we did get to the nice dinner on time. Yes. We were very worried for a little bit that this group was not going to make it because they were driving an hour and a half and they left at like five and our reservations say, we, were we, at seven. I think at that point we had recovered from like the wine and we knew mm-hmm. okay, like we we got back with a short time, but everybody got ready really quick. Yeah, we got out on time. Like we just kind of like I ca- I think I shaved off at least ten minutes on the drive. Yeah, back. you shaved yeah. off a ton of time on the drive back. Ended up being totally fine. Then we went to a nice dinner. Um, yeah. I went and then to we nice spent the night out. Spent the night out. Um, me, and, me and our friend stayed out all night. Oh, and and, took- yeah. You and Andrew closed those yep. bars down. Yeah. Oh because, it, I mean, it's hard because it's our spring break. We don't have class and whatnot. But for a lot of folks, they do have work the next day. So, like. It was pretty empty. <laughs> we, yeah. We were trying to stay out till like, as to late bar close. They closed earlier. So, it was, like, 2.30. Stuff was kind of shutting down, so we ended up staying out as late as we could until like two thirty, and then wa- and walked back. And then um, our flight- got, a, got another glizzy. 
Another late night. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it was fantastic, as always. Then our late night flight was... Uh, early or morning. no, early morning flight. Well, yeah, so we all get back. I, Peter, you're up until like 4 a.m., I think, with me or something like that. Yeah, because we were just like cleaning the Airbnb yeah. and stuff. Like, whatever. Sleep two, two and a half, three hours. Wake up at 6.30, out the door to the airport. Where this guy forgets his watch, where we bring it all around town. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Was, and then the whole... Oops. Checked bag, check issue. bag fiasco. My bag gets like flagged through carry on, yeah. even though like I have this like small travel size Pepto that you're allowed of, to carry yeah, on that through security. Literally, all the tag says way. travel size, like TSA approved. Yeah, ends up getting flagged, goes through this whole entire disaster, rips everything out of your bag. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, and then because it's super packed, because some Mirage's things were in it from the checked bag. Yeah, and the word they take my shoe deodorizers, which are shaped like bananas. Yeah, no, um, like and then. So like they just go in your shoes so that like they don't stink. Um, and I never had a problem with them going through Pittsburgh, like because they're all allowed to go through check bag. They ends up like somebody comes over and like has a test strip on them, like something. And then the weirdest thing was CSH agent. He just tossed them to me. Like I was yeah. sitting over by like our group of people, like trying to after he had already bag. given you all your crap back, and he just like kind of throws. He, he well, he gives all your stuff back just in the bit multiple <laughs> bins that it took. He's just like, yeah, take it. I don't care. <laughs> Well, and yeah. the worst part about it all was like, I only brought the Pepto in case we had issues like, on the like on the trip. Like, if he had just said like it was this issue, like, do you want me to just throw it out? Yes. Been, like, have it. Like, I don't want. Like, you don't need to go through my entire bag. Yeah. Um. Like, I'll just I'll just toss it out. You don't need to go through testing it. Then I found out they ended up ripping the entire label off, off of it. So I guess that maybe got what flagged because then I was like unpacking. I was like, wait. Where'd the label on the Pepto go? I think they I think they might have ripped it off because they needed to actually see if it was TSA checked and they realized that they were like, damn it, we need to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I, I'm calling out TSA yeah. right now. I think they were trying to break, get rid of the evidence. Take your laptops, take your shoes, take your jackets. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. The one thing I will admit is it was nice that we didn't have to take our laptops or anything out. Yeah, just leave it in. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Well, that needs to be upgrade your system. I would say like politics um i would feel like there needs to be like a mandate like airports need to like replace their machines in the next five years to be doing like that like why like the year is 2024 and we are like taking off our shoes taking off our jackets but justin that would cost money i know people don't like taxes i know we need to fund the american industrial complex or the war complex no the american industrial complex that's That's the one yep there it is i would raise if you could raise taxes nope in air, like an airport tax not happening. of 1%. How are we supposed to pay Lockheed Martin for missiles? How am I supposed to pay Boeing to not put bolts on their doors? <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to do Just, that? I, I get up to the flight and I see it says Boeing 737. I'm like, oh, Yeah, crap. for side notes, with this is all while well, the whole Boeing stuff is going on where the Boeing whistleblower shot himself twice in the back of the head or something. Um, but where he was definitely killed by Boeing. It's fine. But anyway, <laughs> it's not fine. It's not fine. It's terrible. Boeing is a disgusting organization. But anyway, um, we, we literally keep getting like these like TikTok, like these videos, like all this on our feeds, like right before we got on the plane of like, yeah, Boeing aircraft suck, especially the 737. We sit down, look at the back of the thing. 737. 737. We're and like, we, we we're, one back too. we're gonna die. Yep. We're gonna walk. We flew one back too. And then as soon as I think I saw someone send later that there was like a panel that fell off a of 737. Yeah. There was an engine that fell apart. Oh my god! Like, Christ, thank God it was only an hour flight. Yeah. Thank Christ. <laughs> um, and we direct flight back, exhausted. Was- I slept like four hours from like four to eight so i slept i got back i think it was like roughly two i slept till nine (laughs) i then like i woke up got my stuff to get like i basically was like kind of organized my room went back to bed at like (laughs) roughly around 12 then woke up for work which was terrible (laughs) i had to go to work to the next day that was so happy i called the next day Slept for like another twelve hours, and then the next day, oh, what did we have? What was on Saturday? The St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day bar crawl. <laughs> My liver wanted to kill me. <laughs> it was terrible. It was. Uh, uh, it was a lot of fun. But it was a lot of fun. Um, it definitely. It's funny because spring break as a whole, like you see a lot of beach pictures and stuff. Our vac- our trip was a lot of fun. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Not relaxing. No, no. <laughs> we were on our feet. My feet hurt for probably four or five days after that. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a terrible. Lot. But it was fun. It was so much fun. What a experience. 
Got to go back. Yes. Got to run it back. When Morgan and Luke's bars open. Yeah, true. Those will open up down there. That'll be a lot of yep. fun. And you know how much I hate stairs just for Morgan Paul and six story bar to open. Dude, that's just, that, that's <laughs> waiting for something. I'm sure it would have been really fun uh, St. Patrick's Day in Nashville. It's not really huge in Nashville. Nah. You don't think so? There no. was, I think there they had a bar. They have a celebration. Uh, I mean, it's, at, it's not like Pittsburgh. everyone will find a reason to party. Yeah. Well, it's Pittsburgh has one of the largest Irish populations. Yeah, mm-hmm. like in, that's true. In the country, so like it's it's one of the big ones. It's like that Chicago, yeah. New York, Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, side note: some guy just went missing while we were there. Yeah. yeah. I I didn't even think about that because like at <laughs> first, um, the kid went missing. I'm sure people know about it. Like he yeah. went missing in Nashville. Um, college some kid, weird 22, stuff coming out. 22 year it, old. But, um, but that happened Friday when they were down there. Um, yeah, literally like we were down there then the next day when we went to um yeah it was like it was like he went missing that friday and like there were already signs and like posters and stuff up like when we were there like going and like getting stuff from like costco or wherever mm-hmm. like we were already like looking yeah. at stuff like, just awful crap. yeah and terrible. like there's like video servicing a cop to or talk to him when yeah there's like really a lot distraught. there's a lot going on about that that's really yeah, weird, his credit so. card spawned in after like the, they already searched the area yeah like we so very weird situation waiting for that fully to develop to really yeah. speak on that because good lord hopefully that terrible yeah hopefully everything works out hopefully yeah in, in that regard but yeah. overall great trip great yeah. trip we are at an hour and seven minutes and Fuck some me. change. <laughs> so I think this is a perfect time to just call the episode. Okay. Um, and we'll break down everything free agent wise in NFL in the NBA next episode. All right. I think let's not squeeze in yeah, our because football there's, content. Because mind you, in the middle of spring break, NFL, NFL free agency is just popping off. It is insanity. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four. And those are just like the notable names. Yeah, I have thirteen yeah. notable. Well, it's not even thirteen. Like thirteen notable like, like teams moves, moves yeah. Yeah. that happened, and that's not even counting the small ones. So I would just say, let's just move. Like episode here, spring break. Yeah. One where we went to Nashville. Yeah. Um, the one where we went yeah, to Nashville. Yeah, that's gonna be the title of the episode. <laughs> there we go. We got uh, it. You heard it here first. Um, then we'll go into everything. I did want to mention though, our man Ham Sowell did get traded yep. from the Commanders. We literally just got the stickers of him mm-hmm. and now they need to be different colors i'm so mad i'm so happy for ham sowell god damn it <laughs> it was terrible timing i literally i bought ham sowell like stickers in the commander's colors god like the oh. day before i left for nashville and then he's traded mid-trip oh. <sighs> this offseason has been crazy we got x's going back we got division rivals hopping between teams it'll be a blast oh next episode yeah. we have a lot to get into but Good lord for the time being, this has been the Coconut Curry Podcast. Boys, great trip. Yep. Please like, Successful. comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. This is very a personal life episode. Um, for my family, I'm sure you've watched the whole thing and loved it. <laughs> um, if you like sports, you probably didn't, didn't even make it. Yeah, so. 